here and today I'm going to be bringing you a review and opening of some of the My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew Wave 4 Beach Day blind bags. And oh my gosh, I finally found them. It took me months scouring every Target and Walmart where I live and I finally was able to find it at my local Walmart and it's a near full case of 23 so I quickly snatched those up and threw them into my cart. At both Target and Walmart, these blind bags retail for $2.88 each, which is not a bad deal in my opinion, but I have waited long enough, you guys have waited long enough, I know several of you guys were asking if I was going to do an opening of them, and it just took quite a few months for me to finally find them. So let's not waste any more time and go ahead and open up the Beach Day CMC sets. Alright guys, so here it is, my near full case of the My Little Pony Beach Day blind bag. We're going to just go ahead and start this party grab the first one and open it up. Now I will say, I really don't wanna deal with the confetti everywhere again. Normally you're supposed to do the pull tab down here. I'll do it for the first one, but the other ones I'm gonna open it kind of the more cautious way because the confetti in these get everywhere and I really wish they would have foregoed it for this wave four. But if you really wanna see me struggling with the confetti, up here in the top right corner, you can see my wave three opening and that didn't go too well. So let's go ahead and just start the party for one time only. And confetti goes everywhere. Hooray. Okay, let's take a look at that checklist first. Ooh, it looks like we have Lily Valley. She relaxes on her retreat with a tropical drink. It shows some of the other sets you can find, which I cannot find anywhere. And on the back, we have the full checklist. It looks like the different themes you can get are bright colors, neon, glitter, fuzzy, and pom-pom. So that's gonna be fun. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Lily Valley figure. So here is Lily Valley stand and it's a little coconut drink and it even comes with a little umbrella that you put in there. Super cute. And of course, Lily Valley herself is neon and she is a Fluttershy mold, but I don't care because she's still beautiful and she has her cutie mark right there. This one's adorable and it's a unique character. So A plus in my book, Hasbro. All these figures also come with a little stand, so you can take your figure and peg them into the stand there and put them in their little accessories like so. Okay, let's move on to the next one, guys. This time we're not going to go into as much detail, but we're going to open it up and see who we have. Okay, I think I might know who is here, and yes, it's Lyra Heartstrings. It says, Lyra, she's excited to find seaside treasures on the shore. So here is Lyra's little accessory. It is adorable. It's a whole bunch of sand dollars, which I love. Oh my gosh, apparently European people don't know what sand dollars are, but if you live on the coast, you definitely know what a sand dollar is. And it's so adorable. And of course, the little Lyra figure is super adorable as well. And I love the color scheme together like that. Really one of my favorites in the set. Moving on to the next one here. And let's see who we have here. Ooh, looks like a Fluttershy. Fluttershy, her favorite vacation floaty is shaped like an adorable flamingo. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Oh my gosh, guys, look how adorable. It's a cute little flamingo floaty. And of course you have a standard sea pony Fluttershy to ride in it, but look how cute that is. I love that. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Let's see who we have next, guys. And according to the checklist here, it says we have Applejack. She treats herself to a cold dessert on her trip. So here is the Applejack pony figure, standard Applejack CMC figure, and her little accessory is this popsicle. Super, super cute. I love the wood finish that they put at the end of the popsicle stick. Super adorable detail. All right, next up, guys. Ooh, okay, looks like there's a dolphin in the background, and it's Sea Swirl. It says, Sea Swirl, she finds a friend to swim the seas with her. Oh! It's adorable. Oh, and it's a non-main six pony. Already super excited. So here is the sea squirrel figure and she is adorable. I love this pony so much and her little dolphin cutie mark is so cute. And her little accessory is this adorable little dolphin floaty. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped her, but we're gonna put her in there. Oh, how cute is that? I love this one so much. And again, non-main six. Thank you, Hasbro. Okay, next one. Let's see who we have. Ooh, I'm pretty sure it might be Spike. And it definitely is Spike. 
It says, Spike the Dragon. He's careful not to snag his scales on his floaty. Oh my gosh, the descriptions. I love them so much. They actually put time and effort into them, and I love that. So here is the Spike figure, another standard CMC figure. Nothing too special about him, but he does come with this adorable little floaty. It's yellow with some detailing on these sea cells here. They painted them with some pink, which I think is a good touch. Okay, let's see who is next. And according to the pamphlet, it looks like we have Twilight Sparkle. It says Twilight, she reads a book that flippers will help her swim faster. Oh my gosh, again, the descriptions, I love them. All right, let's take a look at Twilight. Oh my gosh, that is one giant flipper. Oh my gosh, that's huge. I don't know how that's gonna help her swim faster, but here she is. And of course, this is a standard Twilight CMC pony. Super adorable, love the little accessory. All right, let's see, come on, more non-main six ponies, please. Looks like my wish was not granted quite yet because it seems we have a rarity. It says her style is always on point even on a tropical trip. Oh my gosh, I love the little hula skirt on her. That is adorable. Her accessory better be that hula skirt. And it is, and oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this rarity is actually flocked, which is really cool. I don't know what's going on with her neck. It looks like there might be some yellow glue residue. I'm not entirely sure. It looks a little weird. Um, but still super cute. I do like, uh, I do like flock ponies, so I think it's adorable. And of course her giant hula skirt. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Super cute. All right, next pony in here. All right, let's see who is this pony right here. Oop, muffins? Is this derpy? It is. She scavenges silly friends under sea. Oh my gosh, it's adorable, oh yay! And my non-main six wish has been granted and we have Derpy in here. So here is little Derpy Hooves, who I think hasn't been released as a CMC pony before. I could be wrong, but I'm like 95% sure this is her first release and she is adorable. Oh, she is so precious. And her little accessory is even cuter. It's this little octopus buddy. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. Probably one of my favorites. All right, let's see who we have in here. Ooh, I think I might know who this one is. Let's open it up. Yes, it's Sandbar. It says Sandbar. He thinks hanging out by palm trees is so relaxing. I don't know why they gave Sandbar eyelashes. I think that's a little weird. Usually the guys, they kind of have like kind of slanted eyes, but you know, Sandbar's, he's rocking them. He's rocking them. Okay, so here is the Sandbar figure. Now, these are the slanted eyes I was kind of talking about that I don't understand why I didn't do that on the artwork here, but what I'm more upset about is the fact they made him a Pegasus. Really, Hasbro, do you even watch the show? Do you watch the show? Ugh, that's really frustrating. Anyways, his little accessory is these little, well, maybe we flip it over. It looks more like a palm tree with some coconuts on it. So you can have him sit in there with his wings that he has for no explicable reason. But he's still super cute. You can kind of hide the wings. There you go. Now he's just an earth pony again. Okay, who do we have next? And it looks like we have a Fluttershy. It says Fluttershy. Every creature, even starfish, wants to be your friend. Oh, that's adorable. All right, let's take a look at Fluttershy and her little starfish friendo. And it looks like this Fluttershy is one of the transparent neon ones, which is super, super cool. Again, if they do the main six re-releases, at least give us something new gimmick-wise, you know, translucent neon. That works for me in my book. And here are all the little starfish that want to be her best friend forever. Super, super cute. All right, guys, so here is the last one on the bottom row. So we're getting close to the end, about halfway through. Let's open this one up. And it looks like we have a Rainbow Dash here. And I'm right, Rainbow Dash. She's ready to dive deep under sea and explore. So here is the Rainbow Dash figure, and this one has glitter in her mane. So that is really, really cool. Instead of just the standard Sea Pony Rainbow Dash, that little extra attention to detail is always welcomed. And her little accessory is a scuba mask, which is adorable. Super, super cute. I love how it's translucent, and I love the yellow paint around here. Super adorable. All right, guys, so we finished the first layer. It is time to move up to the second layer. So far, so good. No doubles. Crossing my fingers, that is still the case. And in terms of quality, everything looks good aside from that rarity over there. So already we're doing miles better than my Wave 3 CMC opening. So let's hopefully continue the trend. 
let's see who we have. I want to say this is going to probably be Twilight. And yes, Twilight Sparkle. She turns her undersea findings into a science project. Of course she does. So it looks like we have a standard sea pony Twilight and her accessory is a super adorable conch shell. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I love this one so much. The accessory at least. Could care less about the uh, fifth version of this uh, sea pony rarity or uh, Twilight I have, but the accessory is adorable. All right, next up, let's see who we have inside. Ooh, it looks like Locust Blossom. She shares her sunscreen so that no pony burns their flank. Oh, adorable, I'm in love. Look how cute that is, and that description is just hilarious. Okay, let's take a look at the pony now. All right, it looks like she's one of the translucent neon ponies, which is super, super cute. And her little accessories, of course, her giant bottle of sunscreen. I love that so much. I kind of wish for this background pony they would have made her a normal color. However, she's adorable nonetheless. All right, let's see who's next. And it looks like we have Pinkie Pie. And of course for girl Pinkie Pie. It says, Pinkie Pie, she has partying on the mind as she zooms through the waves. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. So here is the Equestria Girl Pinkie Pie, and as you can tell, she is a neon version, so that's really awesome. And her little accessory here is super adorable as well. She can go ride the waves with that. All right, next up. It looks like we have Applejack. Applejack, hard work with a pail and shovel yields a fun result on vacation. Completely agree, I love building sandcastles. So here is Applejack and this one is flocked and I love it so much. Oh my gosh, she is adorable and she doesn't have that weird yellow neck problem that Rarity has. And her little accessories, of course, a bucket and shovel. What's really cool is you can detach the shovel so that's even more adorable. Oh my gosh, this one is probably one of my favorite main six ones. Uh, I love the theme and she's adorable. Look how cute she is in there. All right, let's see who's in here. We have Rainbow Dash. She leaves her sandals in the sand for some undersea sports. Alrighty. So this one's another translucent one, which is super cool on Rainbow Dash. Look at all the colors. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This one's probably up there with that flocked AJ. It loved the accessory, the giant flip-flop, which is adorable, which also makes no sense because I don't know how ponies can even wear flip-flops. But we're not going to question the logic and just say how adorable it is. All right, we're almost at the end. I think we have five more left after this one. Who do we have here? It looks like we have Pinkie Pie. She tries her new treats on her tropical trip. Oh my gosh, look how cute that Pinkie Pie art is. Oh my gosh, guys, this is the pom-pom Pinkie Pie and I love this, it's so fluffy. Oh my gosh, it feels so weird. It's like a hard pom-pom. Oh my gosh, okay, this one's really adorable as well. Oh my gosh, she is so cute and so fluffy and her little accessory is this little pineapple here. Oh, she's adorable. This one's also one of my favorite main six re-release because I love the gimmick. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this one is just really adorable. All right, let's see who we have in here. And it looks like it's Rarity. Her sunglasses add a glamorous touch to her vacation style. Okay, so we have a standard Equestria Girl CMC Rarity and her accessory are a giant pair of sunglasses. Oh my gosh, they're so big. Super cute though. All right, next up. And we have Equestria Girl Twilight. Twilight Sparkle, she loves to lounge and catch up on some summer reading. So here is Side Twine. As you can tell, she got the neon transparent treatment but I think it kind of looks a little weird on her because I can just imagine this being a radioactive experiment gone completely wrong and her skin started glowing because of it. So I don't know how I feel about that, but the accessory is cute. It's a little chair and she can sit in there just like that. I just don't know how I feel about this one. She is cute, but again, I just can think that something terrible went wrong in her laboratory experiment. All right, guys, we have three left. So number three. We have Sea Pinkie Pie. She spends her trip undersea bouncing a beach ball in her fins. And this Sea Pinkie Pie is super glittery. Look at her mane. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. And her little accessory is of course a beach ball. Super, super adorable. All right guys, second to last one. And it looks like we have Rainbow Dash. Her skills from her summer job comes in handy on her trip. So here is the Equestria Girl Rainbow Dash. She is a standard release of her and her accessory is this lifeguard chair. And oh my gosh, it's so deep. She's like sinking into the chair but it's a super cute accessory. I love the life preserver on the side here. Okay guys, we have one more left. Now, the reason I'm hyping this up is because I looked at the checklist and I am missing two, of course, because this case had 23, so I knew I was gonna be missing one. However, 
This is going to contain one of two ponies. The first one is Silverstream, which I really want because it's a unique character and I don't have her. And the other one is a generic Equestria Girl Fluttershy. So, here goes nothing guys. Ladies and gents, we're going to open this up and hope it's Silverstream. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? And we ended up with Equestria Girl Fluttershy. She's so excited to ride the gentle waves. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's Fluttershy. I'll try not to hide my disappointment, but you've seen this Fluttershy before. And her little accessory is this little boat, which is super cute. But it's not Silverstream, and she's now the last one I need. And she's gonna be so hard to find. <laughs> oh my gosh, but you know, what are we gonna do? That's just really frustrating. Anyways, let's go ahead and clean up this giant mess because despite all my best efforts to avoid getting confetti everywhere, it still ended up everywhere. So I can give my final thoughts on this CMC Beach Day theme. So in conclusion, I absolutely love the Beach Day CMC set. I think all the figures are really awesome. The inclusion of some non-main six is always a welcome addition. And even the main six repeats, they had some awesome gimmicks to them, which is exactly what I wanted in my CMC Wave 3 opening. The only figure with some noticeable factory error was the Sea Pony Rarity, the flocked one. But other than that, all the other ones look really awesome. And they all came with the right pamphlets and they came with all the right accessories. And of course, the only thing I'm a little salty about is I didn't get my little silver stream, but she will be mine someday. It was just really unfortunate that I had to end this opening without showing you guys all the new unique characters in this wave. Anyways, but those are my thoughts on the CMC Beach Day wave. Why don't you let me know down in the comments below which one of these figures that I opened up was your favorite. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos in the future.